Hi guys, it's time for our pool update. So, as you can see, we are in the paver stone process. This little walkway here to the gate behind me where the you can hear the poultry live, um, they've just graded this section and are getting it ready for the paver stone. But what they've done by the pool so far is pretty great. So as you can see here, where in the last two previous up updates, um, we've shown where the concrete was chipped out and that would have been this space right here. Well, they started laying the pavers, they graded it first, they put the gravel down and they've started setting the paver stones in the pattern that we chose, which is called random. Um, and they are going to this next week, start cutting the weird shaped stones to meet the edges of the border. So it's coming along quite nicely. Um, as you can see, I think it goes really well with the coping that we chose for the pool. Um, and we've got some big boulders here that we've set in for the landscaping. So all the areas that were here on the back end side, this was all dirt right here around that tree. And with adding the paver stones, we really increased the usable space over here by the pool where we can add a table or just even a sitting area, whatever we want. Um, and also created this walkway here towards the other gate. So we have this whole area right here to this gate. So this pool area is now kind of opened up. This was all dirt right here from probably, I would say from probably about that line back. This was all dirt. So this whole extra area that we added here is going to be great for a little bistro table or another lounge chair or just a cool little spot when we're hanging out by the pool, just making the whole place look a little bit more finished. For those of you that didn't watch the first couple episodes that we did on the uh, pool remodel, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, let's recap what we did. So we have added this Baja deck right here, which we filled in with broken concrete where these pavers are now used to be uh, a sidewalk that was kind of warped. So we chipped all that up and used that to fill in what is now going to be our Baja deck. So this is now the Baja deck filled with all that old concrete. Um, we uh, they added some nice little finishing touches here with this tile, this iridescent tile that also matches the table that we added. Um, coming along to this side, there was a wall right here. It was initially, we think, supposed to be a hot tub, but a heater was never added. So we always referred to it as the kiddie pool because it was just a little waiting area, basically. Well, we knocked out that wall. We've added a table, raised the seating area a little bit. So now it's a cool place to come sit down and hang out in the pool. It also, as you can see, has an umbrella stand built into it, so uh, you can get out of the sun a little bit, but still enjoy the pool if you like. So as you can see, when this is all finished, it'll be a great little place to sit, and you can set your drinks down up here, and you can just swim right up to it. But as you can see behind me, this is the waterline tile that we picked. Um, it's more neutral. A lot of people like to go with more like blue tones or whatever, but we went for more um, earth tones, more of kind of a neutral look, just because... I think when this is all said and done, that's the kind of look that we're going for. So I think these colors um, will be nice with the pool, especially with the color of the pebble tech we chose. So you can wear this many clothes in the pool. Okay, so today is Veterans Day, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. And we started this project on October 15th. So we're just about a month into this pool remodel and we are very, very close to being done. Um, but we did add a couple of extra little things too. So this pipe right here is part of what we added. This is part of the autofill system. This is also going to allow us to keep the pool at a consistent level throughout the year. There's no more bringing the hose over, turning it on, setting a timer, hoping you hear the timer go off so that you don't overflow the pool. This bad boy is going to take care of that for us. So again, if you didn't see the earlier episodes, shame on you. Our pool skimmer got damaged during part of the demo, so we had to get that redone. And so this is the new and improved skimmer. Now, insert, ooh. Oh, 
and as you can see, one of my favorite parts of the whole pool is my flamingo. I'm very happy about my flamingo. Um, Poolscapes Unlimited is doing a great job in renovating the pool, and we're excited to see the final project, hopefully, in the next two weeks. So there you go, installment number three of the Proud Trant Pool Remodel. We are tantalizingly close to this project being done, and we cannot wait to see the final product and show it to you guys. Thanks for watching the update about the pool. Make sure you click the bell so you get the notifications when we show you more about what we've done. Uh, don't forget to like the video and share it, and go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know what you think so far, and uh, keep those name recommendations for my flamingo coming, because I got a couple good ones so far, but uh, I'm still hunting. Okay, you can say something. All right, I was waiting for the window to open. What do you want me to say now? I don't care. So for those of you that didn't watch the first couple updates that we did, let's go over a little bit of a, what that 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 chipped all that up and use that to fill in what is now going to be our Baja deck. Stop. Go to, go stand on it. Finish. So this is now the Baja deck. So as you can see, when this is all finished, it'll be a great little place to sit and you can set your drinks down up here and you can just swim right up to it. Shooting a video. I'm trying to make a video here. Fucking sneezing. Ass hat. Okay. Where's my drink, bitch? I usually wear this many clothes in the pool. Okay, so today is Veterans Day, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. And we started this project on October 15th. So we're just about a month into this whole remodel and we are very, very close to being done. Um, but we did add a couple of extra little things too. This pipe right here, I totally forgot what this pipe is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you think about it for a minute. I know it's for the autofill, right? That's exactly what it is. Oh, I thought there was more to the story. Okay. Nope. 